Well, hello there, friends. Today I'm making one of my favorite ham and cheese sandwich. You're gonna love it. It's a croque monsieur. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making croque monsieur right now with the Brie Mornay sauce. Amazing. Okay, well, let me show you how easy it is to make this croque monsieur. Actually, we're gonna make a croque madame. We're gonna add an egg at the end of it. Croque monsieur is without the egg, without the egg. And croque madame is with the egg. This is the kind of ham and cheese sandwich, friends. You decide to make in advance and you serve it for lunch. You can prepare everything ahead and you serve it for lunch. You bake it in the oven when everything is ready. It's not the grill and cheese ham sandwich you make in five minutes. This one, you gotta make a, a Mornay sauce. What I, I, I think about this now, a Gruyere Brie Mornay sauce, kind of like a macaroni and cheese on a sandwich. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. I'm going to show you how to make it. I am using for this, friend, what is called a pain de mie. I'm going to get to this in a minute. Let me, sir, let me first make the sauce. The sauce, as I was telling you, is a Mornay sauce. For those of you that have seen my macaroni and cheese, you've seen it. Mac and cheese. Same deal, friends. And the Mornay sauce is what? Is a bechamel with cheese. It's one of the classic sauce. Very simple to make. It's got uh, a butter right there. And then it's got a flour right there. So it's got two ounces of, uh, of, uh, of butter and, uh, and uh, one ounce of flour. And we're making a little roux, you see, roux. And this is what we, we are referring to a roux. We're gonna make it a soft roux. I got two cups of milk right there. I got a little bit of cream. And at the end, I got cheese, cheese, cheese. <laughs> I got Parmesan Parmigiano right there, grated. And I got grated um, uh, a Gruyere cheese. You can use Swiss cheese, whatever you want. You need whatever cheese you want, really. That's the whole idea about making a Mornay sauce. You know, you make your mac and cheese, use whatever cheese you want. Same deal here, right? And, and I got brie cheese. <laughs> You can never have too much cheese, right? So we're going to cook the roux just a little bit, and then I get into the bread deal. And um, let me tell you, this is an amazing sandwich, friends. I promise you. This, this to me, has to be the finest bread, uh, ham and cheese sandwich you can possibly make. Yeah, I don't think you can make a better one than that. Now, if you got a better recipe out there, friends, please send it in. All right? So look, we got a hot milk in there. And this is two cups of milk. And we're gonna mix this up. Now, you, I have it hot because it goes faster. But my friends, you can do it with cold milk. It just takes longer uh, for it to cook, you see? And, uh, and, and then at the beginning, it might be a little bit uh, lumpy. It's gonna look like a little lumpy because the, the, um, the, the, the flour doesn't get incorporated that easily. But don't worry about it. Just mix it up really good, you see? So milk. Uh, flour and butter, so so far it don't taste like nothing. I mean, uh, nothing, right? So we're gonna put a little salt and pepper. Now you're supposed to use white pepper, but you know I don't like white pepper. My mom would not appreciate that. No, -uh, no black pepper in a white sauce. It and in interfere with the integrity of the sauce. Yes, mom. Good thing she's not here because if she was here, we'd be in big trouble. So <laughs> a little more salt, friends, and then we're gonna put the cheese. Low heat. You notice I have a very, very low heat. I'm going to put the Gruyere cheese. Measure carefully. <laughs> and then a little bit of Parmesan or Reggiano. If you're going to use Parmesan, friends, you got to use Reggiano. Right? And then a little brie. Or whatever cheese you want. That's the beautiful thing about making a sauce like this, friends. You use whatever cheese makes you happy. Whatever cheese makes you happy. And we're going to cook all this up. And then at the last minute, I'm going to show you how to uh, add the, the yolks. The yolk is what's gonna um, uh, make it richer and it's gonna allow us to get a nice color when we put it in the oven. So we're gonna cook all this. We're gonna add a couple of ounces of cream. <laughs> cream and butter, uh, that's my kind of recipe. Yes. All right, so we're gonna let that cook for a minute. I'm gonna get to the bread. We'll keep an eye on it though. We're not gonna let it burn. The bread, friends, we gotta get a, um, 
a perfect, uh, you, you would think it's a square, but it's not a square because most of the mold you use to make a pandemi are, uh, are not exactly square. They're more like a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slice very thin. It's not about the bread. As much as the pandemi is a wonderful bread to do, you use a sandwich bread. I've been promising you I'm going to make a recipe on the pandemi, and I never do, but I am going to do it, I promise you, because I use it a lot. So it's very simple, very simple to make. We're going to cut the crust. Now, don't throw the crust away, though. You can use it for breadcrumbs. It's delicious for breadcrumbs, friends. Now we have our perfect rectangle. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take all this out because I already got it. And then what you do, friends, with your, with your bread, you, you pop them on a cookie sheet and you, you get them light golden brown in color. And, uh, and the reason why you want to do that is because if they're too soft, uh, they're going to get soggy. So what I do is kind of like when I do the French toast things. I put them on a toaster or you put them in a broiler for a minute or two. Let's, get, let's keep an eye on that sauce, friends. Let's keep an eye on that sauce. The cheese is going to melt. Let me tell you, you don't want to do this. You put macaroni in there, pop that in the oven. <laughs> You're going to have a macaroni and cheese like, oh, baby. This is beautiful. You see, look, a little more, a little more cream. The cream you put in as you need it, okay? And this right there. <laughs> I love a morning so there's nothing like it. So now, look, guys, we're going to put ham on this sandwich. And you see, they don't come in a little package like that. <laughs> see, the package fits perfectly. How do they, how do I do it in a package? Yeah, I like to make it look nice. You know, I know some people say I'm too in all about stuff, but, but why not? So how do you make it, how do you make it fit like a nice little package like that? Very simple. First you put the side right there. You know, you start right there, right? And then you, you fold it, right? And then you fold it in half. I mean, not in half. You fold it where, where it fits, right there, right? And then you fold it again. All right, so now you take another slice. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I already made them. But this time you do it on the opposite side. You see? Right? You do it right there. Yep. Start at the end. And then you fold the pieces. Right? So now it fits. And then you go like this. And then you go like this. And you see? And then you pack it in. You pack it in because now you want some nice package of ham. Because if you don't, then you got a big pack in the middle. You got more in the middle. Right there, you got your perfect things. Okay? So, I know I pay attention to little detail, but trust me, the detail is what makes the difference, friends. At the end of the day, I want things to look perfect. So, look, we're looking good here. Maybe a little bit more cream. And I think we got it. So, now we're going to put the egg. And the egg is very important. The egg is what's going to allow us to give it this beautiful golden color. So I got those beautiful free-range eggs. They're so yellow. Look at this. They're so yellow. So now we're going to put them in, and we're going to immediately, really, really quick mix them, friends, because you don't want to scramble eggs in there, you see? See, look, and all of a sudden the sauce is turning really beautiful yellow. And this, my friends, is a morning sauce than I promise you. <laughs> yeah. You're going to want to eat it just like this. Just like this. It's amazing. And it's so simple to make. Right? It was nothing. You know this? None of the stuff I teach you is difficult. It's difficult. I don't want to teach you difficult things. Otherwise, you're not going to do it. What's the sense of doing it? I'm not going to take this morning sauce. And I'm going to turn it off. Make sure you give it a time to cook a little bit. Make sure it's nice and smooth. If it's not smooth, don't be afraid to use your immersion blender in there. Let's say, you know, just your immersion blender. And then I'm going to show you why I do this. You put it in a bowl. Now, it's super hot. You can't use it right now. Not to make the sandwich. You can't use it. You can use it for a macaroni and cheese. You can use it to rub all over your body. It's a little too hot. Don't be careful. <laughs> and then, and then, look. Do this. Now, it's very important. I got to take a plastic film, Friends, because if I don't do this, if I don't put the plastic wrap on top of it, let me put the ham over there. By the way, the ham I'm using is called a bourbon ham. Delicious. I buy it at my grocery store, public. It's fabulous. Look, it's very important you put the plastic wrap, my friend, not on top of the bowl, on top of the sauce. If you don't put on top of the sauce, your sauce 
it's going to get a skin. And you won't be able to take it out, that skin. See, see what I'm doing? Right there, friends? And then you want to refrigerate this until it's cold. You want to refrigerate it until it's cold. Because you can't use it right now. It's too hot. It's too liquid. So I got one I made this morning. I got it. I made it this morning. And it's right there. So now, friends, see, see, look. No skin. See? No skin. Because I put the plastic on it. It's pretty simple, right? You notice everything is so simple? When you see it, when you know it, when I tell you, you go, oh, that's easy. Nothing, friends, nothing we do is complicated. You see, now when you watch a, uh, when you watch a, a, a doctor operated, or um, I don't know, some people that do things that it takes for years to learn. Cooking, anybody can do it. I promise you, my friends. Some chefs are gonna say to me, this guy is denoming the, uh, the professional chef. Anybody can be a great cook. All right, so now we're going to put the whole thing together, okay? So, what we're going to do here, we're going to put a little sauce on it. Very little, though. We're not going to put a lot. Oh, I got, I got spoons right here. Because if you put too much of it, it's going to slide all over the place. See, look, look. See what you got right there, friends? You see, now you got it. You can handle it. You see, you put a little bit of sauce. Don't put too much, because if you do, as much as you want to, you can put some more at the end. Your, 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 your ham and everything is gonna go all over the place. So you don't wanna put too much in there, you see? Just like this. We're gonna put more at the end. So there's probably enough sauce right there for uh, uh, 10 sandwiches and a macaroni and cheese. So you may wanna cut the recipe in half. I like to make extra because I can feed everybody. You see, so now look. Now we're gonna take our ham, my friends. And we're gonna put it right here. And now, but see, now how easy it is to put the ham, because it's all ready to go. You see, there's always a reason why we do things. Oh, let's put a little sauce in there, friends. Let's put a little sauce. We don't want to put too much now. Otherwise, it's going to slide everywhere. I promise you, the sandwich is going to slide everywhere if you put too much when you bake it. We're going to put a little more gruyere, though. They can never have too much gruyere, right? Or, 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 or Swiss cheese, or cheddar cheese, or... Whatever cheese you want. You see, and the fact that we have the brie in the, um, we have the brie in the, um, um, in the sauce, you don't need to worry about it. We're going to put a little bit on it on this side. Very little. Okay? Just a little. Like I said, if you put too much of it, it's going to go all over the place. And we want to push it. Push it, friends. Push, push it, push it. Because you don't want a sandwich to be tr so high so high, then it's difficult uh, uh, to eat, you see? Remember now, this is not a sandwich you're going to grab. See, push it, push it down nice. And now, friends, we're going to finish the whole thing. By now, we can put a lot of sauce, you see? Because now, I don't care if it goes all over the place. Quite the contrary. See, quite the contrary. Let it go everywhere. No, I don't, because I'm going to eat this with a fork and a knife, okay? I don't plan on eating this. Hey, you, come back over here. I don't plan on eating this with uh, grabbing it and eating it like a regular sandwich, okay? Croque monsieur, especially if you're going to put a croque madame, you're going to eat it with a fork and a, and, a, uh, and a knife, okay? Put it in an extra, don't worry. It's going to go everywhere. It's going to run everywhere, but oh, that's what we want. All right? And now, friends, we're going to put a little more gruyere. And we're going to pop it in the oven. I got an oven, 450 degrees, friends. Very hot oven. So we're going to clean up. And when we come back a few minutes before it's ready, I'm going to do the egg. I'm going to show you how I do the egg for the croque madame. You can just leave it like that. 450 degrees. This could take a long time, friends. It could take about 15, 20 minutes in the oven. Maybe, maybe a half hour. Depends on how hot your oven is. Okay, we're going to pop it in the oven. Which oven do I got? This one right there. And when we come back, we're going to put the egg on it. We're going to cut it and we're going to eat it. Be back in a minute. Okay, friend, the sandwich is almost ready. A few more minutes. I'm going to get the egg ready for the croque madame. <laughs> uh, I usually just quack an egg and put it in the pan, and I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine, but I like it to be perfect. So what I do is I take a cookie, cookie cutter, 
and I put it on a uh, non-stick spray on it, and I put it in here, right, in my fry pan. I use a non-stick fry pan, and I crack my egg, and I'm gonna put it right in there, right in the middle. That's it. And you know, the egg is always deciding it wants to fight me, so it goes, it doesn't go exactly in the middle right there, but it's gonna get there eventually. And if it, there you go. If it doesn't stay there, it's not that big of a deal. See, I messed it up a little bit, but it's okay. Just don't do it like that. Little pepper, little salt. Now you can also, if you want a little fun, you can put a little bit of nutmeg in there, fresh nutmeg. Certainly don't have to, and a touch of cayenne pepper. Be careful now, because too much of this, you'll be sorry. Just a kiss of cayenne. Wanna cook the egg, wanna leave it alone? Uh, the pan is about 200, we're gonna cook it slowly. By the time the egg is done, we're gonna take it out of there, we're gonna put it on top of the croque madame. In a, in a minute, the sandwich should be ready, friends. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, friends, the croque monsieurs are ready. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. Look at this, beautiful. So now you see there's a little bit of a, a sauce that fell. And, and burn a little bit here, no big deal, take it out. That's the whole purpose of it. Take it out, clean it up nice, you see? With a spatula. And I'm gonna take them, and I'm gonna move them. Woo! They're really hot. Move them right there. So you see, if you have it uh, ready in advance and you're doing this for lunch or a uh, oh, nice dinner, I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you have it ready in advance at the last minute. All you got to do is pop them in the oven. They're all ready to go. So we're going to continue this. We're going to let them cool. We're going to let them cool. And in a minute, we're going to cut into it. Just going to let it cool. It's too hot. I'm not, gonna, I'm not eating this right now. I'm going to burn myself. Be back in one second. Okay, friends. Well, they are kind of cool enough right now. So we got two croque monsieur. Oh, <laughs> One croque monsieur and, where are you? And one croque madame. <laughs> How cool is that? Very simple, right? We're gonna cut it. Cut it right in there, right in the middle of it. Oh boy, let me see. Let's go right in there and cut it. Oh, right in there, friends. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at this, friends. Look at this. Look at this. Is that beautiful or what? Now that's, let me take this out of the way, that's a beautiful croque madame. You can skip the egg, obviously. Um, but remember now, that's something you're serving it with a fork and a knife, okay? Because you can't, <laughs> you can't grab that and eat it. Wait, how cool is that? Is that beautiful or what, friends? You know how delicious that's gonna be? I'm gonna take a little piece, okay? I can't take a whole big thing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm telling you to use a fork and a knife, and I'm going with my fingers. I have no manners. Mmm. I made a mess, but it is amazing, my friend. And it wasn't too hot, so I didn't burn myself for once. Friends, I hope you make this beautiful croque monsieur or croque madame, and you enjoy. Remember, prepare in advance, or pop it in the oven for dinner or for lunch. It's amazing. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, friends. Don't forget to subscribe. We need subscribers. We're getting to a million really, really soon, so we're looking forward to it. And, uh, and, and thank you again for watching. We love you guys. Thank you. Bye.